You're listening to WUJP 91.3 FM Jam Pack Radio, Hempstead, New York. certification and all that, I started working at Universal Studios, which was my first job that I had working at Universal Studios as a recording engineer, and after that point, uh, I started working in and out of small studios and different things like that, you know, doing projects and everything, and out of that, I ended up meeting Tim Gatling from the group Guy, and um, at that time, he was working on a lot of other independent artists that was coming up because everybody was getting ready to go to the independent level, you know what I mean? Because the industry was changing and whatnot. So, uh, you know, he invited me in, I sat in, and we became pretty good friends after that. And from that point, he wanted me to work with him on uh, engineering because he was like, I am not the dude that pushed the buttons, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he said, I'm not that guy. I can give you lyrics all day long and melodies and all that stuff like that, but when it comes to pushing the buttons and making the tracks, I can I can tell you what sounds good and what don't, but I can't I can't tell you how to do it. All right, here I am now, about 23, 24 years old, and you know I'm out here in LA. I'm married, got three kids, and you know I'm a restaurant manager trying to make it put my demos together and all that kind of stuff. Just built a studio in the townhouse we moved in. Then the Rodney King riots happened and, you know, I lost my job. It just seemed like all of that part was going just downhill. And But the music career, everything was doing well. So it's like I couldn't balance it all for some reason. In 94, when we had the quake, everything about, you know, uh, the marriage went sour. Around this time, you know, it's been a couple of months, uh, been with my friend, staying with him, and it was tight. It was tight because it was four of us and it was three of them. So it was seven in an apartment, you know what I'm saying? It was tough during that time. And, you know, we finally got back in our place and just like <laughs> she left me, my, you know, and she took the kids with her and, you know, it was very, very hurtful. And um, still today, right now, I don't have uh, the relationship with my only daughter uh, that I would so much want to have. I mean, I can't, I don't know what else to do. I mean, it's like, it's been hard. And uh, it's just kind of hard to talk about it. Yeah, but you know, family, we go through things and you know, before we even moved out to California, we had a lot of issues in our family with, you know, division and separation and, you know, black people, we have that issue in our families and you know, it's just like, you know, I was really trying to be one up on that and be a young brother that was trying to take care of his family and not get into uh, trouble. You know what I'm saying? So it was, it was very tough, you know, and you didn't have the family support, of course, you know, and that made it tough because uh, I really didn't have a whole lot of support from my family pushing me to do anything other than my, my parents. That was about it. But everybody else, they really didn't give a damn. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? So 
I was kind of like out there on my own, you know what I mean? So, but uh, in all reality, you know, I wouldn't take back that uh, quest to go to LA and move and try marriage and work it out and go through all that with family. But I tell you, man, you know, it is very tough when you're trying to balance it all and doing it while you're young. So, you know, young people, you know, take it all in stride, but make sure you got God in there first.